Coach Macy, tell us a little bit about um, your first practice of the season and how the girls are looking so far. I'm going to tell you, first practice of the year, everybody's really excited. Uh, no one really got a lot of sleep last night, that's for sure. But we were thrilled to finally get onto the court with the entire group. And there was a lot of energy today that worked incredibly hard. And I couldn't be more thrilled about coaching this group. Great. And um, you've got 11 returners coming in, coming back this season. How nice is that to have that many girls back on the court for you this year? Well, when players start teaching players, that's when really great things start occurring. And, and I think our leadership is really good. And um, it's just a, a really fun group to be around every day. And you've also got six newcomers. Now, what are they going to bring to the team this year? Well, we've got we've got three kids who are going to be playing uh, right away. Two guards that um, that are, are mature beyond their age, and Chanel Green and Kylie Marshall. You know, Kylie can really shoot the basketball, and, and Chanel really pushes our pace to a whole another level. And we finally got a big to throw it inside too with Elise Shelton, uh, who's really coming along, and we expect great things from. Now, um, your six newcomers are not the only new faces on the on the team this year. You've got a few new um, coaching members. Um, what can what are they contributing this year to the team? Well, they, they've got they're really high energy people, and they really love East Carolina and really glad to be here. Uh, Olin Dumford and Rachel Stockdale both head up our recruiting efforts, and I've been so pleased with the direction we're going. And then Jill Poe, we're welcoming her back to East Carolina. And, uh, she's just a, a welcomed addition and, and someone who is uh, a very valuable member of our team. And now talk a little bit about the goals and what you um, are hoping to accomplish and what you're hoping to see out of the team this season. Well, with the way these kids work and the amount of buy-in that they have and the way that we want to play in our system, I just think the sky's the limit. So we just got to continue to work incredibly hard, stay focused on what our goals are, and let's see what we can do. Thank you very much, Coach. Okay, thank you. Good luck this season.